Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbanger here. I have a new profile. I wanted to go over Fluffles. So I did this profile a couple of weeks ago, I believe. I actually deleted it because we actually got even more support for the deck. So that's absolutely insane. So at first we just had the Octo and we had the new Fusion Monster. So now we got Penguin and we got Patchwork. So those two cards... I can't believe those weren't talked about first or, you know, released, revealed, whatever. But, um, yeah, those are actually tiers better than Octo and the new Fusion Monster. So let's just go into the list real quick. You have three Dog, you have three Penguin, you have three Edge and Chain, you have three Fluffle Bear, you have two Sabres, two Owl, one Octo, one Cat, one Rabbit, three Wing, that's it for the monsters. Onto the spells, you have two instant fusion, three fright for a fusion, one fusion recovery, two polymerization, three patchwork, one factory, three toy vendor, and then onto the traps, you have three fusion reserve. So the first thing I wanted to say, I'm not entirely sure if fusion reserve would actually stick around. I mean, I know that's something wild to say because it's an extremely good effect, but it's a matter of, is it actually needed anymore? Because technically you have a spell that does the same thing just about. So, um, yeah, let's just go over the new cards though real quick. Uh, Fluffle Penguin, uh, he's the second monster. Uh, it says, during your main phase, you can special summon one Fluffle monster from your hand, except Fluffle Penguin. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. This card is sent to the grave as a fusion material for the fusion summon of a Freight for fusion monster. You can draw two cards, then discard one. Then you can only activate that effect once per turn. So right there, that's just absolutely bonkers. So this deck has a ton of draw power. Fluffle Penguin and then the usual Fluffle Bear with wings and Toy Vendor. Um, just insanity. I mean, I honestly cannot wait to build this deck just because of that card alone. Because just back in the day, I always used to use decks that had draw power and could just do crazy combos in a turn. And this deck will definitely be able to do that. Um, let's go over uh, Fright for Patchwork. So... That's the first spell in the last row. So it says, add one polymerization and one edge imp monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one patchwork per turn. So that's what I was saying. The trap does the same thing as the spell. I just don't know if it's entirely used. I mean, it's always welcome to constantly thin out the deck and search. So that's kind of why they're in there now. Uh, if you wanted, you could cut those for Solemn Strikes. You could cut them for Barriers. I mean, there's a lot of uh, room, definitely. Uh, I was thinking of adding Foolish Burial. There's a new Foolish Burial for spells, too. I was kind of thinking of doing maybe that. Um, but yeah, I mean, just let me know your uh, thoughts on this deck. Um, Octo, I'm not entirely sure if I would even use that anymore. At first, I did really like the effect. Uh, I'll go over that real quick. When this card is normal or special summon, uh, it's in between Owl and Cat, by the way. Uh, when this card is normal or special summon, you can target one Fluffle or Edge Imp monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a fusion or for a fright for a fusion monster then you can target up to two of your banished monsters return them to the graveyard so it was just kind of cool that you kind of have like a reverse stratos in a way or a reverse you know grabber grabbing some from your grave and then when it's sent to the grave you can put stuff from your banished back into the graveyard to you know do another big fright for a fusion so i'm not entirely sure if that's fully needed um i'm not also sure on fluffle cat and rabbit i guess we'll see on that as well but um yeah this is just a uh, good template i guess to start uh let me know what your builds are and uh yeah i'll see you later peace